Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a really beautiful Christmas card to show you. This is actually a case, which means I copied it from Stampin' Up. I changed it a little bit to make it really Christmassy, um, but the original design came from Stampin' Up. Sometimes when I get new products, the easiest way to, to start is to copy what Stampin' Up! has created. They have some beautiful projects. And if I do that, it gets the creative juices flowing and, uh, and then, you know, I just go to town. But sometimes if you feel stumped when you get a new set, um, look at the samples in either the catalog or online and just copy. It's fun and it's easy. Okay, so let me tell you about this. Um, the Framed Florets Bundle is a sneak peek from the upcoming spring catalog. Stampin' Up! has brought in a Christmas stamp set to go with it, um, as well as paper, designer series paper and embellishments. Um, we're pretty much using all of it today. If you would like more details on this, make sure you go to my blog. I've got lots of samples to show you, as well as links to the products. All right, I think the first thing that we're gonna do is all, all of our stamping and our cutting. We're going to use um, this die right here and this die right here to create two frames. Um, we're also gonna cut this one from vellum right here. Actually, we're gonna cut this one from vellum. We need that larger circle there. I have already cut out two sprigs from distressed gold, two leaves from distressed gold, and then two more sprigs from one of the patterns in the paper pack. Um, I wanted to save us a little bit of time so you don't have to watch me do all that die cutting. This is an over the top card, in my opinion. This one is not one I would wanna make a hundred of. However, it would go to somebody special for sure. All right, so I'm gonna stamp the larger flower once and the smaller flower twice. All right. I'm gonna leave space right there to stamp my sentiment here in just a minute. We're gonna start with Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade is a great red. It's bright and cheery and one of my favorites. This is a stamp and blend, which is an alcohol marker. And I stamp the sentiments in memento, I mean the, the flowers in memento black um, because it is, a, is not alcohol ink, which means it will um, go nicely with the blends. They won't, they won't react and smear the black ink. So we're gonna color all of this in with a light um, Poppy Parade. I'm just gonna give it all just a full coating of Poppy Parade light. I'm using the bullet tip end. And then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add some dark underneath each petal and down at the bottom around the center. All right, and then if you want, you could take your light and kind of blend that out like that. Make sure I've got all the white filled in. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other two flowers. This is a quick drying ink, so you don't wanna do your light coating and then walk away and come back later and try to blend in the dark, dark colors. It won't work. Make sure you do it all within about a minute. We'll do the same thing some dark kind of there in the middle. You can also go like this, do it the opposite. Add some dark like that. And then go back with your light and fill it all in. I like to do the light first. I don't know why. I just think I like that doing that better. But some people do it this way. All right, we've got those colored in. We're going to take just a little bit of so saffron and I'm going to just tap 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 there in the center to give it a little bit of yellow all right let's bring over our cut and emboss machine we have matching dies of course for our flowers the sprigs are from that set as well all right I think I can get all of these pieces in here at once, let's turn them over to the right, correct sides. Now your flowers are not symmetrical, so you're gonna need to turn the flower until you, well, I just got lucky there, didn't I? Turn it until you find the right placement, just like that. All right, very carefully put on your clear plate. Oh no, I just tapped it off. Let's try that again. 
And <laughs> let's see if I can get it to go through this time without shaking it. There we go. All right, run that through. And pull those off. We'll take off our frames. We still have one more flower we need to cut out, but let's take a look. We've got that one, that larger one. This one, both of them have a center oval like that that you can keep for later, but we're just using these two pieces. But like I said, we need that center oval from vellum. So I'm gonna use that larger die to cut that out. And then we can cut out this tiny little flower at the same time. And then we'll be ready to start putting everything together. Again, we're not keeping that. We're gonna get rid of that. We just need that inside oval. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is adhere our ovals together. I'm gonna to take my um, smaller oval and just put a little bit of Tombow around the edge. You don't need too much. And I'm gonna adhere that, center that right there on that oval like that. Then I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna add a little more Tombow and take my vellum oval and glue that right in there, okay? We're gonna give that some time to dry and not dry to my fingers. Let's put a little more right there. Smooth that out and we'll let that sit and dry. All right, now for your card base, I have a, um, a soft succulent card base. I couldn't think of the name, soft succulent. And I'm gonna use soft succulent ink to stamp fa -la, 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 la all the way across, filling it, kind of going back and forth. In the middle, um, you're not gonna see it so much, but I don't want them to all be exactly the same. So I'm gonna just kind of do part of the word on the edges, maybe one right there. Okay, now let's bring back our oval and I'm gonna put some mini dimensionals. Actually, let's see if our big dimensionals will fit. I think maybe, no, maybe not. Can it fit? That one might. Let's use the small ones to be safe. I'm gonna put some small dimensionals kind of in the top, bottom, and left and right. You can also use adhesive, foam adhesive strips um, and wrap it around the edge of that oval. All right, so there we go. We've got that. Nope, that's not centered. Let's try that again. Centered right there. All right, I'm gonna start with my pattern sprigs. All right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tombow and we're gonna put that, mm, let's tuck that one in. I can't exactly remember what I did, but I think we tucked that one in behind like that. And then we took a gold one and put that one right there. All right, now we're gonna do these down here Coming this way, like that. And like that. All right, now we've got ribbon and twine before we put all these other pieces on that we're gonna put in here. So let's get our, let's bring back your grid paper and we're gonna use uh, the crinkle seam binding and we're gonna color it red. So take the brush and actually, what did I say this was? Poppy Parade, not red. We're going to take the brush end of our stamp and Blend and just color this 
to make it match. All right. There we go. Now I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute. And while we're waiting on that, we will do our twine. I've got Baker's twine here and I'm gonna fold it in half and tie a bow with both strands so that it's a big full bow. I'm gonna pull these, I want these loops pretty big. Okay. Oh boy, I need my better scissors for that. All right, so we're gonna do both of these. Hopefully I colored enough of this. And we wanna make big loops here, okay? If my hands weren't sticky from glue, this would be a lot easier. All right, now I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm gonna put that one right there. And then we're gonna take our twine bow and set that right on there like that. All right, now for our flowers, we're gonna use dimensionals for these guys. Okay, let's start with a two on the outside and we'll put one over here and one over there. Nope, needs to be a little bit further, I think, like that. And then we will put our big one right there in the middle like that. All right, now we have two um, gold leaves, I've cut two gold leaves. Okay, glue, come on. And we're gonna stick one right about there. And we're gonna take the other one and stick that one right about there. All right, and then Last but not least, we're going to take the embellishment that is included in this suite, the gold swirls, and we're just going to put a few. Well, again, you know, if my, <laughs> my fingers weren't covered in glue, this wouldn't be a problem. And we're going to put a few right there. Let's see. Let's put those a little bit higher because we've got to leave room for our sentiment. Last but not least... We're gonna stamp these two Merry Christmas from all of us in Poppy Parade. And then we're just gonna cut them apart into rectangles, strips, if you will. I'm gonna just use my scissors, but if you're worried about getting them perfectly straight, then you want to use your trimmer for sure. I've done this a million times, so I'm just gonna use my scissors. Snip, snip, snip. Okay. And then you wanna cut off the ends like that. And we'll grab our mini dimensionals again. We're gonna put this right in the middle from all of us. I'm working backwards. Merry Christmas from all of us. And there you have it. Kind of an over the top Christmas card, but I sure do like it. All right, remember that these products um, everything but the bundle or while supplies last. 
and I highly recommend that you grab that paper. It's just beautiful. I've got two other projects on today's blog post as well as a free PDF. Make sure you grab it and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.